Hello, welcome to my new section, MIT App Development. In this section, I will be teaching you how to make apps using MIT App Inventor. Open your browser, type MIT app, MIT dot app inventor. Click the first link and then click create apps. It opens MIT app inventor. You'll have to log in with your email ID. Or you can sign in or sign up using the same. I'll be starting a new project to show you. Today we will be learning about an app which opens websites for you with the click of, an, of a button. So um, I will type browser. And then you can choose a name later on. It will open the browser app, which I have just created. Now this is the screen one. You have to change some properties before starting what you want to do. The first property you have to change is align horizontal. Make it center for the buttons to come in the center. Otherwise, it will be left. Then after you drop a button here, you have to change the properties. We don't want this screen one to be here, written here. We'll go down, scroll down, and then make uncheck the title visible checkbox. Now after this button is here, we will want to add a label, a text on the app. I will type browser. Okay. And then I'll click font bold for bold font and change the font size to 24. It looks good, right? Now I don't like this font type. So I'll change it to set. And if you want a background color to this part, blue. But I don't like any background color. So that you can see this background, the white background. Now, if you want to change screen one, screen one's background color, that is all this white. I will go here, background color, and then it blue, black, gray, green, etc. Now, if you don't want um, background color, you want a background image, just search for the image. So if I like cars, I'll search cars. Okay. So Bogati is my favorite. Right click, save image as. It will open your downloads folder and then save. Now to upload this image in MIT App Inventor, go to media here and upload file. Choose file from your downloads folder and then click open and then click OK again. It is uploading. You can see it here. The file has been uploaded. You will be able to see it here in the media column. Now, after this is done, 
you click screen on from the component section and then go to background image click that and choose your image and press ok okay now if i don't want it to be straight i want it to be able to turn so i will change unspecified in the screen one section to user for um, making it able to turn landscape and portrait now this button one i wanted to have the logo of flipkart so i'll go here and I'll type flipkart png images png icon is better Click the first image. It should have a PNG background. That means gray and white squares. Now I have to click, left click, right click, and then save image as. And then save it in your download folder. Then go back to MI Tab Inventor. And then text. It has text. So we don't want the text over the image. So go to the text center and then backspace. You can't see any text here. Now, if you want to, here's a shortcut. If you want to put an image on that button, instead of going from media and then choosing it here, just go to image directly and open the file. And just drag it. You can see that it doesn't fit in the space. So we'll change the height to 50 pixels. And then press OK. Width to 50 pixels again. You can see the button there. Now, We need another page for making it open the website. So we'll go to add screen here on the top and then click OK for screen number two. Or if you want to change the screen name, I can type Flipkart. OK, then go to the next screen. Flipkart. It will have this, the screen name. And we want it because it's the screen name. And it says Flipkart. Now, look through your user interface section. On the left side, you'll find a web viewer at the bottom. Then drag it and drop it. Now, height will change to fill parent. Okay, which we will change to fill parent. Home URL we'll have to add. Now go to your tab and type flip type flipkart and then go here flipkart.com. So we want the exact URL for this page. Okay. Not this, this page. Then control C, copy it, and then paste it in the home URL section. Done. And then press enter. That's all. That's all you need to know for your first app. And then you can add more. You can even add a logo. I'll show you how. Image. This image, you'll be able to find the image here, image component here. Drag it and drop it. 
wherever you want the image. Now, so I'm from AllSpark, so I need an AllSpark image, the logo of AllSpark. I'll choose the logo. All spark infinite images. And then my latest logo here. And do the same thing to download it. Right click and save image as. And you will open your downloads folder and then click save. Go to MIT App Inventor. And then this image thing, click on that and change the height. To 100 pixels width to 100 pixels and click OK. So choose this and then click upload file. Drag the file here as a shortcut and then click OK. And it's uploaded. Now let's do the programming of the app, which we have made. Now you'll be able to see a button here. Click on blocks in the button. And then uh, for making the button one connect to screen to flip cart the screen, you have to click on button in the block section. And then take button one. When button one dot click do, now we'll go to screen one and then we'll go to control and We'll go to control and open another screen. There's a block here. Open another screen with screen name, Flipkart. We'll go to the text. And then drag this. Let's type Flipkart. Make sure that it has the same characters. Flipkart. Okay. Flip card. Done. This is how to connect one screen with another. Now, let's go to flip card screen. And then if we press the back button from our mobile phone, it should go back to the first screen. Okay. So let's do this. Um, let's go to flip the screen and take the first block when flip card dot back press do open another screen name screen one. So you have to scroll down and find this block named screen one. That's all. And now I'll be showing you an app which is made by me. Now I'll show you an example of the app which I have made. So I'll go to projects, I'll start uh, I'll go to my project and then show you my app. It's called as K Browser. You will find it here. It's my app. So I'll find it in my email ID. It will load. Here is the app which I have made. It has my logo here and a lot of different websites. 
we'll keep scrolling it on and on now if you want to download this app into your phone you have to click build here and then provide qr code for apk now for that you'll have to install an app in your phone So I have my Android tab. I've already downloaded the app, so I'll show you how to download it. Go to Play Store and type MIT AI2 Companion. Okay, and then click install. I've already installed it, so I'll click open. As soon as this app opens, click build. And then type, click on provide QR code for APK. Now, as it's processing, we'll click on scan QR code, the blue button. It will be scanning the code. After it is done loading, take your tab or phone and then scan it. Scan the code. It will load and open Google Chrome or any web browser. And then press OK here on the screen. Now it will say, do you want to download kbrowser.apk again? Yes, I'll download it. It's a new update. And then you have to press open. Infinite browser will not exist, okay? It's a new update for the infinite browser. install and then add install click open there it is here app so flip cut flip cut opens and you can add a lot of websites a lot of buttons a lot of things the use of this app is to reduce the space taken by many apps on your phone through this app. My app, it has a lot of websites, so it's about 4 MB, 4 to 14 MB, depending on the Android version and your phone. Now, when you install your app with one button or two button, it will be less than 10 MB. So it saves a lot of space on your phone. Stay tuned for my next video. This is all for now. Subscribe and like the video. Thank you. Bye.